you can hear me. Okay? Do not move your head. Absolutely essential. So we approach the car from the front. We deal with any fire situation first. Unconscious. If they seem to be aware of what is happening around them, then keep looking them in the eyes. Whether they are conscious or unconscious, you must speak to them and continue to speak to them. Your name? Peter. Peter. Okay, Peter. We're here to help you now. I don't want you to move, okay? okay. Just take everything very, very slowly. Alright? We're going to check you over and make sure you are safe. I'm talking to him and all the time... <laughs> Under no circumstances do you try to remove the helmet. You can do a massive amount of damage if you try to take that helmet off. How many of you wear crash helmets? And making sure he does not move his head. As soon as the head has rotated forward, it will block the airway. Your job is simply to rotate the head backwards and hold it there. By rotating the head backwards, we open the airway and the patient will start to bring or support the neck whilst the other one removes the helmet. We have the neck supported at the moment with the helmet. Now, the problem we've got is that the helmet is still fastened. So, did he fasten it? He didn't. Sorry, <laughs> <Lordy> boy. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether they are conscious or unconscious. If they have collapsed onto the floor, you need assistance quickly. The first thing you need to do is to see whether they are conscious or not. The way to do it is just to touch them. Do not shake them hard. We used to talk, tell people to go, hello, can you hear me? No. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Hello? If you get some response, then you can continue to try to get them to cooperate with you. If they are breathing okay, if they are uninjured, then get somebody around the front just to support the head and neck. Okay? If they are perfectly okay, still breathing, they're conscious, just support the head and the neck. If they are not breathing, if they're not breathing, then we have to open an airway.
towards us. Take your hand away, open the mouth. They are now in the recovery position. That is stable. They will, if they are unconscious, they will not move from there. That's the difference. 